Here we are. Here we are. Give me a sec here, folks. Just to on, give you that view while we're waiting. Okay. Just gonna go on in, check a few settings. Looks like that's hooked up properly. Okay, that's good. And uh, we shall come in here and check this. Just to confirm that we are in fact live. We are coming on in. What the heck is going on here? I got 50 likes on something. Oh, okay. I'm not interested in that right now. Oh my goodness gracious. It looks like we are live. <laughs> Oh, that is nice to see. Okay, so we'll just double check this one more time. Yeah, that is working. So that's good. Right there. Come on back here. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> so, howdy, howdy, folks. Drew Portswood here over in uh, Bill Curtis Square, actually, in Yale Town right now. It's a beautiful day. It's around. 12 degrees outside, supposed to get up to one more degree, so 13 in total. And uh, yeah, it's a little blustery, but hey, what can you say? <laughs> so we'll get into some spots that get windy and some spots that don't, and we'll see what's going on. So come with me around Vancouver right now. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> so here's uh, Bill Curtis Square for you. It's right by uh, actually uh, Yale Town Roundhouse Station right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Of course, this is uh, your classic Yale town environment. And in the daytime, a lot of people will just come down here and chill out and relax, which is absolutely what Yale town is for. And I got the nice little cherry blossom umbrellas above us because it is cherry blossom season. You can see one of our cherry blossom trees right up here. And yell down. So <laughs> it's a busy, busy day and a busy, busy strip. Hey, Sebastian, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Let me know how the volume is, if it, if there's any issues or anything like that. Otherwise, it should be pretty good. Oh, we're walking down the mainland street. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> And you have to enjoy the nice, nice, bright sunshine over here because we've had several days of rain. So it's nice to be back and have a nice day with uh, some nice sunshine breaking down upon us. And you can see over here that uh, People are starting to come out to the brewery already. There's already people all over there at the Yale Town Brewing Co. So things are starting to get lively. <laughs> oh, look at that. You can ride on wheels on that thing. That's very cool. <laughs> we'll keep walking here. On this side of the street, it's just a bunch of different services and restaurants. And on that side of the street, it's mainly bars and restaurants. So we'll keep walking here along in this section of the street. And this place will get busier and busier as the night goes on today. It is our Friday here, so wonderful, wonderful Friday. People get off, tend to get off just a little bit earlier. And they come on out and they check out the neighborhood and everything else. Stop on by, maybe we can pick up a couple pints. Over the Yale Town Brewery, or stop by the Bombay Brow Bar, if that's your thing. <laughs> Whatever is your thing. Oh, looks like we got a skier here. Willing to make the last stretch. There is a still a bit of snow on some of the higher mountain tops. So in that case there, 
You can still go skiing and come on down here and enjoy the sunshine later in the day. Which is definitely an interesting phenomenon that happens only in cities like Vancouver. Where you can have both mountains and the urban environment all mixed together. And we are currently in our second wave of cherry trees as well. So if you see a cherry tree, it'll probably be very, very pink right now. Because that's the type of cherry tree that's going up right now. And then we'll have a third type of cherry tree as well. And I can't remember what colors or shades of colors it is, but somewhere between white to pink. And this is Mainland Street in Nelson. And we'll just wait on over here and cross Mainland Street. We we'll keep heading up Mainland Street for you. Okay. You headed up Nelson this way here. You'd eventually pass Comer and then Richards and Seymour. And then you'd eventually end up over at Granville Street. And we'll cross Mainland Street here. Mainland Street is one of the streets that turns into the Canby Bridge. Hey! hey. <laughs> one of our locals saying hey. Very cool. <laughs> I don't think she was expecting to see me on the street, so that's cool. Love the locals. <laughs> Vancouver locals are so chill. So we're walking along Mainland Street here in Yale Town. Give you a little bit of a look of what's in the Yale Town area. It's a lot of different towers, a lot of different balconies, a lot of different condos. Okay. And some office space as well as shops and stores. It was predominantly a residential area. And you know you're in Yale Town because of the ba banners that are hanging from the telephone poles. And right now they're saying Yale Town is blooming. Because of all the cherry trees that are in the area. A lot of the cherry trees in this area though are finally done. They're starting to show some nice neon green leaves before they turn a little bit darker. Very eclectic, very classic of Vancouver itself. And here's some ice street right here. And this would be the intersection of Smythe and Mainland Street. And we'll just cross the street here and uh, keep going. <laughs> oh, what a day, what a day. Just give me a sec here, folks. Audience. Looks like we are doing pretty good. Good, good, good. Good to see. And we'll cross the street here in a minute. Oh, I almost jumped the gun, but I didn't. That's good for me. Looks like we're doing pretty well right now. <laughs> so we'll keep walking. Now we can close that and keep this side open. There we 
go. And we'll continue strolling along on this street right here. Now that we've crossed Smith Street, this turns into Hamilton. So we're now on Hamilton Street. This will take us over to the Vancouver Public Library. You can see it in the background there. It's classic architecture, a lot like a Coliseum. It's been on several popular TV shows. Yeah, keep walking here. <laughs> Just passing the original Joe's restaurant. It's like a steakhouse. And a burger bar. There we go. And you're good to go with the Cross the street and then turn here. Head on up. There, of course, is the stadium. That would be BC Place itself. And this is the intersection of Hamilton Street and Robson Street. So we're over here in Robson. Very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey Francois, Francois is here, Francois is good to see you on the stream, Sebastian is here too, Francois is saying, hello, I am Francois, I'm going to look at your video again, oh cool, well thanks for watching. Down here at the library, you have a whole bunch of different little cafes and restaurants here. This would be Love Larte. You just do like lattes and sweets and stuff like that. Coffee. See, it's very popular. There's people in the window. And yeah, here we are on Robson Street. And this is by Diwali Square. Or Diwali Square. <laughs> the name's over there, so if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, well, at least you know you can see the name. You can put it into Google Translate yourself and see what the phonetic spelling of it is. And we'll keep walking here. Over here on Robson Street. I'm just waiting for the light to change here. Robson Street over here is a, a very busy area with uh, a few hotels, a few shops, but mainly restaurants. You can see a whole slew of the restaurants right over here next to the Cirque Beauty Boutique. See everything from the Memphis Blues Barbecue House to A&W. Here we're passing the Hilton. Of course, the Hilton's got a restaurant underneath it too. Very popular to have restaurants and different hotels here in the Vancouver area. So, you know, if someone wants to eat in and around the hotel, they can eat in and around the hotel. If they want to go out, they can pop out, get everything from Tim Hortons. To Japa Dog, to Hello Guys, to even something a little more sit down y, like over in the area of Yale Town that we just came from. It's a quite busy day today. Very good to see. See the intersection of Robson and Richard Street. You head down this street, you're just one street above Yale Town, so it's more of that residential area there. 
I'll just cross the street here in a minute. Keep an eye out. You're never going to see one It is busy today. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. We'll head on down and check the mountains in a little bit. Absolutely beautiful day. Hey, Alexander, nice to see you. Francois here and Sebastian's here too. Yeah, it definitely is a beautiful day. Over here in Ralph's Street. <laughs> What's this say? Oh, there's a festival of words? It's already probably, oh, it's going to get started in April 18th. Okay, it's April 12th. That'll be cool. Definitely going to keep my eye out for that. We have the Viz Shaki Festival tomorrow down in South Vancouver. So <laughs> I'll see if I'll be able to get down there. If I don't, that's because I'm stuck at work. <laughs> Which will bum me out, but won't cause you guys any harm. <laughs> we'll see a lot of people celebrating the, the holiday. I'm not pronouncing the holiday exactly right, but you can. Uh, it's a it's a celebration for the Hindu population, and they welcome anyone to come in, even bloggers, just to come in, walk around, check it out, show off their culture. Francois. <laughs> Oh, don't eat the squids here too. Afternoon, well, afternoon to you. Alexander is here, as well as Francois and Sebastian. So good to see you too. Don't eat the squid. Francois is saying, I wish I could be there <laughs> when I, when am I, when am gotta have a car? I will be. Okay, so I'm assuming when you got a car, you'll be here. <laughs> When I'm typing, sometimes it doesn't make exact sense to me, too, because I'm typing fast. So. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, get over here once you get a car. Yeah, I know, I know. It can be tricky. Depending on where you live in Vancouver, it can be a very long bus ride. It's a, it's a decent bus ride for me from UBC. But it's not, it's not too long. It's not forever. Alexander's saying, I miss Vancouver so much. Well, that's what I said. And then when work offered me a job in the West Coast over here, <laughs> I jumped at it. So I hadn't been back here for a while, living permanently. Like I had visited, including a vacation just a month before they offered me the job. But yeah, I hadn't been here for living down here for several years almost two decades so it's nice to be back let's head down uh gramble street here check it out it looks like there is a lineup over here looks like there's a sheen store here this is the intersection of robson and gramble street see right there it's gonna be our turn so we'll cross here we go Yeah, Alexandra, Vancouver will be here when you're ready to come on back, so. <laughs> and the same thing goes for you, Francois. Yeah, it looks like they're doing a, this is the opening of a Sheen store. Oh, they're doing a whole brick and mortar for Sheen here. This is a Japanese, or Chinese online store. <laughs> you got some like, uh, Vloggers right here too, <laughs> walking around with the pro GoPros. Wow, did you guys just open up? Oh, cool. <laughs> so if uh, Sheen is your jam, this is the place to come. And this is why we got a giant lineup here. Oh my gosh, look at this lineup. So long, so long. <laughs> oh wow, look at this. I have, well, I've never seen a lineup this long here in Vancouver. I'm sure other people have, but I haven't. So this is a first for me. Wow, this is absolutely giant. I bet people are lining up not even knowing what's going on. They're just seeing a line and they're lining up. That's not everyone. Most people will probably be in the know, but some people might not be. <laughs> I have been one of those people one of those times. You line up and you're just like, Oh, cool, a new store. Not my store, but still, cool. Still go in, check it out. 
fan. So I was saying, because I'm Abbotsford, I am far taking the bus and SkyTrain. Yeah, that is quite, quite a lengthy trip. You can get there from bus, but it's, it's not, it's really not feasible. I agree with you on that. And you can see Sheen staff are just working their way down here. There's a guy with a green shirt here. He's holding a sign, Sheen, hashtag, <laughs> CA24. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, Francois, I understand. And it's like, yeah, I got a lot of people in Abbotsford who are like, come on down to Abbotsford. Uh, some uh, interesting person there. <laughs> come on down to Abbotsford. I'm like, I don't have a car. They're like, oh, no. <laughs> Look at this light. This is still going. Hey. Well, it's worth it, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. They're all the way down from the corner of Robson and um, Granville to the Commodore. And a little bit further, all the way down to the Orpheum Theater. Here's a sign right here. Wow. <laughs> Old Orpheum Theater. Two clicks and we're back down there we go and then I'll just adjust it for my ease Wow well that's opening day and this is just like the jam cafe you got to be seen in the line so that you can say you were there <laughs> very cool very very cool we'll keep heading down Ga or Granville Street here A lot of people out here just doing selfies today, using the sun. It's springtime, it's time to update your photos. <laughs> yeah. At least, you know, Francois, you're in Abbotsford. That's a, that's a nice city. It's not Vancouver, but at least it's decent. It's a decent town with good people in it. This is the intersection of Smythe and Granville Street. There's the local Popeyes across the street there. We had Popeyes after we, uh, Asif and me had Popeyes after we finished the last live stream. There's uh, Popeyes over at Park Royale. So I stopped in there and Asif opened up the app and we got a really good deal. It's like six pieces of chicken, fried chicken, fries, two biscuits, pops, pretty good. There was even a better deal where you could get like sides too and the option for a sandwich, but uh, we couldn't eat all of that food. We didn't want to leave it, leave it in the fridge and come back to it as leftovers. We prefer to eat Popeyes, a lot like McDonald's, almost right away. Like you can wait an hour if you absolutely need to, but once you start heating it up in the air fryer, it tastes different. <laughs> just passing Roxy's over here. They're just doing a little bit of construction. They're actually moving along fairly well. You can see the glass that's already on the sides already above it. Those windows were not there a couple days ago. And they're moving more of the windows in right now. You can see they have the X on the, some of them. And they have spaces that are leased already. So this be good. Hey, how's it going? Nice Very to see you. <laughs> Very cool. And we keep walking here. Along Granville Street. Over here at Nelson. And we'll turn up the street here, head on over to Hornby. See what's going on along that strip right there. So this is the intersection of Granville and Nelson. I'm just waiting for the light to change. There's part of the Granville Entertainment District there. Yeah, everything from the Flamingo Cafe all the way down to the local warehouse. And warehouse is a chain that you'll also see in Toronto. 
most other locations across Canada. The restaurant and bar area. Keep going. Over here we got some cool restaurants that get overlooked from time to time. Everything from the Moose, which is a local bar over on this side of the ship. Lucha Libre Taqueria, very, very good. And the Mean Poutine, still have to take uh, Asif to Mean Poutine. <laughs> the problem is Asif makes a Mean Poutine, so. <laughs> That's a toss up. It's like, when are you gonna go and actually get your poutine if you already have someone who makes a decent poutine? Here's Burger Crush, they recently opened. And the door open, let's poke our nose in. There's their menu right there. Cheeseburger, 11.50, double 16. Vegan cheeseburger, oh, they got vegan too. Very cool. So you can go and check that out. Fire truck? Is it a police truck? Is it an ambulance? Looks like a fire truck. One of those smaller ones. Yeah. Oh, that's the fire medic one. It's smaller because it can go into like wilderness areas, even here in Vancouver. Sometimes you need a smaller truck to do things. You can't always get the big trucks in everywhere. That's why they have a few of the smaller trucks. Same with the buses. This is the intersection of Nelson and Howe. And we're just across the street from Nelson Square, which is just right over here. An office building with uh, some nice restaurants and cafes in there, too. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna keep walking here. Wait a sec. Let me adjust this. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better for me. Sometimes the gimbal gets turned around. The gimbal's holding the cell phone, which is doing the live stream for us. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little gimbaled itself. I gotta realign it every once in a while. That's okay, that's just part and parcel of the job. Just explaining it to you folks so you know what's going on. Not left in the lurch there. I'm gonna keep walking here. Let's see what's uh, on this side of the street today. Over here on Hornby Street, we're over by the law courts, as you can see. Looks like they got the fountain started again. You can see all the nice greenery here. And on top of it is Robson Square. And we'll dip into Robson Square right now off of Smythe Street. Now this is one of the quieter areas and then come on down into the middle of the square for you. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Alexander's like, I love the sound of the traffic lights when they open for pedestrians. Yeah, it's nice to have that sound, to be honest with you. That's there for uh, people who, uh, you know, have a bad eye, eyesight or can't see at all, so they're blind. And they know when to cross the street, but as someone who can see, I just find it helpful. It's a nice little prompt, especially sometimes when you can get distracted. And you just have to wait for the sound. So yeah, I definitely agree with you on that one. And also, it just is a nice memory of Vancouver. It's one of those sounds, it's like, it's like when the SkyTrain doors close <laughs> on the SkyTrain and you hear that sound, you're like, oh, that's Vancouver. That's so Vancouver. <laughs> Same thing with the street sounds. When you have them, you don't always have them. Over here, it's uh, very quiet right now. <laughs> It's 
So yeah. Let's head on top of uh, Robson Square here for you. Just for a second. This would be where you'd see the different courthouses. Francois saying, I did my knowledge test when I was at work, and now you got to do a road test for a driver's license, and then you got to buy a car. Yeah, <laughs> it all happens in that way. Luckily, there's like, you know, there's new cars if you want a new car, and there's used cars if you're you know, on a budget, so. Oh, this side is closed. I'm going to go up the other side. That one's, the other side's always open. Oh, okay. Um. This is just a stairwell at the other side of this block. Same location, just the other side of the block. <laughs> oh, good. If you're working on your road test and all of that stuff, and get in the car, you got a plan. That plan sounds great. <laughs> it's definitely a plan. Some people try to come to Vancouver with no plan. That's when they're stuck on the bus coming from Abbots Abbotsford for hours upon hours. They're smarter. <laughs> Much smarter. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking here. And see magnolia petals below us. Magnolia doesn't have anything on it anymore. Oh, it has leaves now. When the petals drop, the leaves come in. That's how it works over here with the trees that bloom. And this is uh, just a nice little quiet respite area. Over here is a Second World War memorial to Dutch Canadians. Right here, okay, for the liberation of the Netherlands. Not sure why it's here, but uh, Vancouver does have several, several different uh, populations of Dutch people here, Dutch diaspora, so that's probably why. Doesn't look like the fountain's on yet over here, though. So I guess we're going to have to wait a couple more months before they decide to turn it on. When it turns on, water comes out, streaming over here, and then it goes through here, it streams over there. It looks like they're doing some repairs right now to it, so that's probably why. Francois says, a Mazda from the 90s. Oh, that's not bad. If it's a, if you're buying it over here in British Columbia, that's not bad. If you were buying it in Ontario, I'd be a little concerned. Because <laughs> in Ontario, the salt's gonna rust out the bottom of the frame for the car, but if you're buying it over here, on the west coast well that totally makes you can have a car from the 80s and it'll still be in still have a perfect frame except for maybe you need to do a little repair job or something like that so that's what i love about vancouver you can get some cheap used cars over here and they'll just keep running so long as you just keep maintaining them oh so awesome so, so awesome. You gotta be a little careful over here. These stairs can get a little tricky. So they got a wheelchair ramp in them too. Uh -huh. More tricky for someone who's carrying a gimbal than just someone who's going for a walk. If you're going for a regular walk, <laughs> probably not a problem, but I got a gimbal and a camera and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> it looks like we got some uh, dancers over here just hiding around the corner here. And that down there. They're doing their little K-pop routine. It's cool, they're welcome in order to coordinate it. You'll see a lot of different dancers hanging out here from time to time. Down there, especially in the summertime. Yeah, we got some break dancers in there too right now. Spinning around, look at that. <laughs> Going here. Looks like we got Digger Dan out here today. Down here. I haven't seen Digger Dan for the last year and a half. 
So that's how I get to know their names. This guy's absolutely amazing. He does everything from this to blues and grass and stuff like that. So he's a good guy. <laughs> oh, well, here we are. We're at Robson Square. Isn't that cool? We got music. Very cool. Very, very cool. You see all the food trucks over here and everything like that, too. Very cool. Let's head on down here. Back to the main drag. We'll turn on the... Turn on over here on the house. See where life takes us. <laughs> Here's House Street here. There's a few markets that have also opened up over in East Vancouver. They opened up last week, so just to keep an eye out if you are coming to Vancouver, just for don't forget about those farmer's markets. Of course, Riley Park Farmer's Market is no longer its winter market. It's a smaller uh, spring, summer, and fall market. And uh, the Trout Lake Farmer's Market has opened up on over at East Vancouver. And the Hastings Park Market is closed. So just to give everyone a heads up on the different markets that are opening. And then once we get through April, we'll have several other markets open up. I'll give you a heads up when those ones open. So you can head out to them. Trout Lake uh, Farmer's Market is over at Trout Lake, which is just below Commercial Drive, over on Victoria Street, and Trout Lake Park. Looks like this guy's getting into an Uber. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Uh, over here by the Art Gallery of Vancouver. I keep walking here. And then the financial core as well. Alexander is saying, it was good to stay here for a while. Here in Brazil, it's already night. <laughs> I'll come walk with you again another day. Well, have a good night. Good to see you on the chat, Alexander. Totally understand if it's getting late. No worries. <laughs> it's just part and parcel of life. And we're over here at uh, door. This is West Georgia Street and Howe Street. It's like, uh, oh, this guy's got a sweater. This is real. T-shirt that says real deadly uncle. <laughs> That's a hoot and a half right there. Oh, they got real deadly uncle and real deadly antley. That's awesome. I love those t-shirts right there. <laughs> uncle and auntie. <laughs> so cool. Looks like we are in a wind tunnel. Whoa. And here lots see lots of people's hair blowing around. Over here at 700 West Georgia, is where the TD Financial Investments building is. We're also over here by uh, the CF Pacific Center and which is right beneath our feet underground, as well as the Vancouver City Center Station right here. Not sure what's going on. Oh, it looks like this guy's making some music. That's interesting. DJing. Looks like he had part of it. It was like Python coding with uh, Foxtrot. And you can make beats coding in Python. That's kind of cool. Python's a coding language. <laughs> hey, Henry. Nice to see you. We have Alexandria on here, Francoise on here, Sebastian's on here, Don't Eat the Squids on here, 
Good to see you on the channel as well. Here we are, just hanging out at the intersection of Robson and, or Granville in West Georgia. There goes the 7 Oak, 17 Oak Street bus. I should do a walk down Oak Street for you folks. Won't be the most exciting walk, but for those people that want to see some more residential areas, definitely a street that I'm interested in walking down. We'll do that on, on some videos, <laughs> not on live stream. It would be too boring for a live stream. <laughs> Francois says, since they removed air care, you can purchase an old car uh, in QC, so they could back because they are very rusty. Ah, you did love that sound before. Oh, very cool, very, very cool. Well, wherever you get the car, you still got that plan to get the car. And that's the important part, so. <laughs> and you can always get the rust taken off, so it's not a big deal. Just more work. Here we are at Granville Street. Just passing Granville Station right now. I always try to look at those things, uh, Francois, with uh, a glass half full. It's better to have a plan than no plan. If you need a car, it's better to have a car than no car. So cool. Very good. Very, very cool. <laughs> of course, I'm over here in Vancouver, so a car is sometimes a liability. Not always. But we have enough uh, Uber and public transit, and sky trains, and all that type of stuff, so that's why uh, acid for me tend to live in a city than in smaller, or in larger cities than smaller cities. Mm, so, and the transit was one decision why we decided to live all the way over at UBC, because there's great transit routes from UBC, even down here, so. Definitely cannot complain. It takes only a half an hour to get from UBC to the uh, Broadway City Hall station. And then jump on the SkyTrain from there and head uh, wherever you want. If I need to get on the Expo Line, well, I can connect to the Expo Line uh, from Vancouver City Center Station or all the way over at uh, Waterfront Station. Just make the transfer. <laughs> and those are some ways I get around the city. We are meandering over to the mountains right now. It is a fantastic day to see mountains. You can see lots of people out here waiting with the buses right now. Okay. And bus bays are for both Vancouver City Center and Granville Station around this little strip right here, as well as West Georgia Street. So you'll see a lot of people waiting out here for different buses. Buses that'll even take you over the Lionsgate Bridge off of West Georgia Street. If you want to see what the Lionsgate Bridge is like, well, you can check out the last live stream we did. We walked right over the Lionsgate Bridge. It was awesome. <laughs> it was a beautiful day to do that. Then it rained <laughs> the next few days. Yeah, of course, uh, if you want to support the channel, you can hit that like button right now. Help, so help uh, shoot the live stream out to more people, as well as the recording of the live stream and the channel in general. So hit that like button, help out the channel. <laughs> it's greatly appreciated. And if you want to support the channel monetarily, you can hit that dollar sign during the YouTube dashboard there and uh, send me a super chat or super sticker. And if you're watching the recording later, of course, you can hit the dollar sign in the heart symbol and you can send me a super thanks so of course i also take direct donations through interact e-transfer to my email address jforcewood at gmail.com so always you can support the channel but most importantly actually is just hitting that like button it really really does help out and this is west pender street here and this is west pender and granville street oh look at this speed racer right here Oh, he's got a great little handle on it there. 
Got a little carrying bag too. Very, very cool. Let's head on over to uh, Granville Square and let's check out those mountains because those look absolutely epic today. So this is the intersection of Granville Street and West Pender again for you. You got the 22 night bus that's just going out right now. And there goes the 22 night bus. And I'll be heading down uh, Victoria. And there's the 44 Downtown Express. That'll be probably after it's downtown, heading back over to 5th Exchange. Hey, how's it going? I see you guys. <laughs> hey, I don't want to waste your time getting donations from me. I'm just going to talk to them on my YouTube channel. <laughs> They're happy to see me. I'll keep walking here. Vancouver is a tiny city compared to other cities. And uh, cities in Br British Columbia are generally much smaller than some of the other provinces. Saskatchewan has uh, a few smaller towns, as well as Charlottetown, or as well as uh, PEI. Other than that, a lot of the other provinces have much larger cities. At least they're big cities. Here we are. Just gonna walk along the Granville Square Promenade here and head on out and look at those mountains there. You can see them in the background right now, just teeming with snow. Now, snow isn't gonna be there for very long, so it has become 13 degrees now. Just check the temperature. So, it'll probably be at this peak until the sun goes down, and then it'll start to get cold again, go down to probably around 8 degrees for the nighttime. And this is the intersection of Granville and West Hastings. And we'll cross the street here. After the mountains, we'll head on back up and then in, into the busy core. See what's going on. Let's check out those mountains. Maybe we'll go past, uh, go past Canada Place. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Uh, we can definitely head down Howe Street, back on over. If you want to look uh, under and see what Granville uh, Street is like at nighttime, as well as the downtown core at nighttime, you can go back and check out one of our live streams from uh, a few days ago. I think it was last Friday that we did it. And uh, we walked all around, even into Gastown, showing you where all the little hot spots are. Including the portside pump, which was uh, in Gastown, which was just a uh, bumping. We had a band in and everything like that, and people just waiting to get on in so they could see that band. Very, very cool. Nice, big, a large party. And Gastown right here for you. as well as a waterfront station. But we're over here because we want to check out the mountains right now. So let's go see some mountains. And some uh, mountain action. Mountain action. <laughs> uh, and so I was like, I know where you're going to the sky train, you already did it. I do a lot of things over and over again. This is a small little town. <laughs> You'll see it as it changes over the days. There's some locals. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we're all the way over here at the SkyTrain station right behind us. And the waterfront station. There's the waterfront station right there for you. There's the observation tower right there. If you look down below, you can see the West Coast Express is just parking before it's going to take off. And of course, this long bridge is going to take you down to the ferry terminal right on over here. <laughs> I like those mountains. Ah. Let's make a look at them. They're not going to be covered in snow for very much longer. That snow is going to disappear. So if you are a skier, I don't know if you can ski on those mountains, but there's a few ski hills that are still open. Take advantage of it. We did see a skier on here. And here is a waterfront road. That'll take you over to the Crab Park. This is just over there on the other side of the heliport. Looks like uh, we can see the top of the ferry and the ferry terminal right now. Just waiting, probably just filling up right now with people and it's gonna take off. I love the mountain view over here though. Absolutely eclectic. You can see the Port Authority in the background and uh, Canada Place as well. We have had a few cruise ships in, but I haven't been able to catch one yet, so give you a heads up on that. There'll be more coming in soon. Oh wow, look at this. They're power washing the side of uh, Granville Square building right here. <laughs> Straighten that up for you. Alright, <laughs> so I was right, yep, the West Coast Express comes all the way over to Mission, just above Abbotsford. I mean, uh, above, I mean, north of Abbotsford. There you go. I'm going to walk back over here because they're spraying that water right now. Keep it off of the camera. Absolutely gorgeous. The light over here is just like eclectic, part green. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, a lot more Blue Jays jerseys in the area. And there's times of day, that's when you know you got a Torontoni in here. <laughs> Not always, but uh, often. I'll head down Howe Street and back over to uh, see what's going on over here on Howe Street. Passing some more of the office spaces over here. Just walking down the stairs, making sure I don't slip and fall. <laughs> Concrete can be hard. I'm going to wait to see this is the intersection of Howe and West Cordova. I'm 
across the street right here. I can just wave to across the street. There we go. See Canada Place in the background there. There's some construction over there at the end of Howe Street on the sidewalk. So it's nice to see that they still have a walkway for people. They're not forcing them all the way onto the other side of the street. That can get tricky for some people. walking here. Now we're on Howe Street. This is the Guapo Cafe or Guapo Cafe here. Tiny little place. It's got some awesome coffee in it. A little Swiss restaurant. Showing off some of the uh, European diaspora that is in Vancouver. Large amount of people just straight up from Europe over here too. As well as all over Asia. Everywhere from South Asia to Southeast Asia to China. <laughs> and even over into Central Asia. So yeah, a lot of different groups of folks here. Here's the intersection of West Hastings and Howe Street. And we'll head up the street here. weaving around some folks over here. It's so busy. At some intersections, just the office crowd continues to come out. Passing the Curry Indian Hut Bistro. Nice little restaurant here. They do a nice little job. They'll be open until 9 p.m. tonight, and then they shut down, so they do take out and all that stuff, too. So if that's your thing, that place is there for you. If it's not, well, at least if someone asks you, you know. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I know a place. <laughs> Jerome showed me. And of course, if you haven't hit that like button yet, hit that like button. I'll help support the channel. We'll head down this street right here. This is West Pender. And off of the bus stop, off of any of the bus stops over here, you can catch the number 19 bus. It'll take you down to Stanley Park. Passing Hydra, our local uh, wine bar, Mediterranean wine bar. And so says, nice walk. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> and over here is one of the few Tim Hortons that you can find in Vancouver. Right here. You know, so many different coffee chains. Sometimes uh, you don't even have to. You don't even have to go to go to Tim Hortons for coffee, as opposed to other cities. You you do have to go to Tim Hortons for coffee. There's no other option <laughs> except making it at home. We'll keep walking on West Pendrick here. And just passing the butcher shop. At one point in time, this thing was going to close, and now it's back open again. So good to see it's going, it's running. It's the butcher and Borla, Burla. Oh, we're here in the days end. It's 
This is the sign of the times that sometimes restaurants are struggling. Sometimes they're doing good. And in that case, the ones that are struggling, they just gotta make a choice. And then they keep running and try to tough it out or shut down or reevaluate. And that's just normal cycles in the cities. You'll see that all the time. As well as new ones open up. And some are just rebranding, finding uh, better deals with different franchises or starting their own franchise. Look at that mountain view right there. Wow. Just wow. Oh, that's getting nosy. It looks like we got a movie got a set going on here. <laughs> Here's the number 19 bus right here. Let's take you back to Stanley Park again. Yeah, it'll get noisy. Parents, I was like, I didn't know it took you to Stanley Park. Yeah, the number 19 bus will take you right into Stanley Park. There's a bus loop in the middle of the park. On the north side. So this is your standard when you have a movie or TV show being filmed here. This is what you'll commonly see when you're in the area and the TV show or film is being filmed. Like a lot of different cables running out of trucks and stuff like that. Okay. And generators. This would be a generator right here for energy. Oh wow, look at this. They got some gorgeous, uh, gorgeous cherry trees over here too. Oh wow, we really lucked out today. This is gorgeous. Definitely. I like the pink ones better than the white ones actually. In Toronto, they only had the white ones, which are the Sakura trees. And these ones, I can't remember what their names are. I think this uh, type of cherry tree starts with an A. That's over at Oceanic Plaza. So we can walk through this area. You got these things covering over the cables so you can cross the street. I'm not sure what side the movie is being shot on. It could be being shot on either side of the street right now. So it's a little bit of a give and a take as to which side is which. But hey, what can you say? What can you do? I'm also talking over a little bit of music in the fuel bar right now. <laughs> fuel bar is a little. Uh, Nice little bar over here. Right there. That's like uh, healthy drinks and stuff like that. There's a gym inside there too. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely probably on this side of the street. And they're Ooh. filming. So very cool. <laughs> There's one of the workers right there getting over to the fuel bar to grab something. <laughs> Still got some construction workers out here too, cleaning windows. Very cool, very, very cool. Okay. And we're down here at... Uh, Thurlow Street. Oh, very cool. <laughs> so this would be Thurlow and West Pender. I'll we'll head on over here. There's the 2914 Blue Ridge bus. You don't see that blast every day. Parents <laughs> are like, I know it's a beautiful tree. Yeah. <laughs> I just gotta call it out. <laughs> I definitely gotta call it out. There's the number two bus. This is where it does its loop after it's emptied uh, out most of the people. It'll let you stay on if it needs to. And then it'll come around and pick up people over at uh, Burrard Station. Oh, 
going across the street here. Looks like we got more movie trucks over here and a generator at the end of the street. So yeah, there's definitely something being shot in this building right now, right here. <laughs> There's my days of being a nosy parker. I'm gonna keep walking on Thurlow Street here. <laughs> Some of the local workers in the neighborhood. There's a 210 Upper Lynn Valley right there for you. I'm gonna loop down and then come back up on West Georgia. Big up, people. We're at the back side of uh, Burrard Station right now. Third of the Street Parallels Burrard. Burrard Station's just down there. One block. Now I'll take you to the Expo Line. So I either take you to Waterfront Station, all the way over to uh, King George Station in Surrey, or up and around uh, through New Westminster and connect you back to uh, the Yellow Line, which is the Millennium Line over in Lowe's Station. Which I believe is part of Coquitlam. Mm, I might be getting that one wrong. I haven't looked at the map in a while. Uh, you can see more movie equipment over here, so uh, something's getting on. So you can figure out what's going on here right now. <laughs> Feel free to put it in the chat so everyone knows. <laughs> We're over here at the Arthur Erickson Center. Erickson Center. A nice little sculpture over here, actually. You got a little bank in here for Coast Capital. Nice little ponds here and little bridges across the ponds. It's mainly an office building, but uh, they still get good stuff and they have this nice little promenade that you can chill out at. And every once in a while they'll have festivals in here. So this is a meal in Amaru by Boaz V. Hidaya. I always love these types of things, the different layers. And it's just so cool. <laughs> Oh wow, look at this. You can see the mural over here. Sometimes people forget to look, take a look at the city and see what's going on. And see some beautiful things. <laughs> Francois like, you should go to Hollywood with those videos. You will be a star. <laughs> I think I'll stick in Vancouver. This is more of a hobby. <laughs> I have a day job. <laughs> Well, thank you for the compliment. There we go, that's a little more level for us. Oh yeah, 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 you can wait there, you little punk. That little four by four is honking pedestrians crossing the street there. Oh, it's a big man, real big man. Can't wait for pedestrians. <laughs> And that's the type of person that leads the lazy driving skills. <laughs> I'll keep walking here. We're over by Alberni Street. Here at Alberni. 
and Thurlow. We'll keep walking on Thurlow. Oh wow, look at the sun. It is just coming through after a few days of rain. Oh, feels so good. So good. Of course, they're walking past different high-end retail stores here. Past Prada, of course, right now. And St. Laurent, you got Brunello Jelly across the street. Sue, so it's that type of neighborhood. <laughs> And there's the local Joe Forte's Deacon Seafood Restaurant. Classic. Let's head up Thurlow Street. We're in the Robson District. If you watch my channel before, you've definitely been over here. We'll head on over to uh, the Davy Village. Yeah, there's palm trees all over the place. Looks like we're gonna have to wait. That's okay, we're at the busy intersection here at Robson and Thurlow. This would be Robson and Thurlow Street right here for you. Pretty busy today. As you can see, this is our major retail strip here. It's a lot like a mall. It's got different restaurants on it too, with a lot of different stores. Everything from, uh, you know, athletic stores, outdoor stores, to regular clothing stores. Banana Republic is a store we're going to walk past. <laughs> yeah, if you're in Abbotsford, you're facing the same issues we're facing, Francois. You probably got rain for several days and then... <laughs> At least you're getting the sun now. <laughs> if it's sunny over there. <laughs> we had rain this morning, so it might still be over there for you. But it'll pass <laughs> if it hasn't passed already. Hopefully it's passed for you. <laughs> Either way, I'll send you a little sunshine from over here. And over here they have uh, above Artesia, they have uh, the Robin's Burger Restaurant. And they have a fantastic patio up top here. If you can see it above the uh, Dank Mart. And Dank Mart is a... Uh, uh, local mart that has uh, like uh, convenience or that has stuff that you wouldn't necessarily normally see. So it has a whole bunch of different types of chips and candies and all that type of stuff. Just trying to cater to the market that would like something that of uh, remembrance from home or people that want to try something that they haven't tried before. <laughs> like we got a cyclist outfit here. I'm gonna wait here here right now. Oh yeah, you got a cycle club over here. These guys are awesome. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> and then you got the pedestrians over there. Let's watch the cyclists. They're awesome. There they go. And a giant pack. That's how they roll. They're probably heading over to Stanley Park. That's where they normally head to. Over here we got the downtown uh, fire hall. Across the street here. Where the fire engines are. Oh, it's sunshine and atmosphere. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm just always surprised by like, you know, how you can connect with different people in different parts of the city. Oh, it looks like it's our turn, or different parts of the world. Even places like Vancouver and Abbotsford, which are relatively close by vehicle. It's just cool. And then you can hear about different places, like uh, constantly hear from people over in Europe, how the weather is in Germany and uh, the Netherlands as well as other people down in Malaysia telling me how it is. It's just pretty cool. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this guy doing here? 
Look, he's on a scooter in the middle of the road. You gotta be on the side of the street there. What are you thinking, buddy? Smarten up. <laughs> Some people. That car was in the right. And it's good the car actually honked the horn. So, not all drivers in Vancouver are bad. Sometimes it's the scooters. <laughs> oh, he didn't even wait for the stop sign. He just went right through the scooter. <laughs> Terrible. Here we are over at Thurlow and Barclay Street. A lot of the buildings on this side are actually going to come down right now for a massive two towers that are going to come on over here. And you can see over here, you also have the butterfly, which is this newer building behind it here with the circular features to it. That's about 30 stories tall. Really, really large building for Vancouver. But well, we're going to be having 30 stories, more 30 story buildings come in more uh, and then of course it'll just get higher and higher like when I was living in Toronto the buildings just kept getting taller and taller hey Jeremy nice to see you got a bunch of other people on the stream so <laughs> it's good to see you on the stream as well Jeremy and Jeremy Explores <laughs> across the street here very cool so yeah these buildings right here they're they're coming down even this one right in front of us two massive towers. I'll show you the picture. I think I can see uh, one of the development applications right up here. I'm doing pretty good, Jeremy. Jeremy's just asking me how I'm doing today. It's a nice sunny day. Yeah, so just give me a sec here, folks. And there it is right there. So two massive towers. And it's going to have a 57-story tower. Ooh, that's 57-story. That's going to be huge. Huge. It's going to have markets. It's going to have social housing. It's going to have regular housing. And it's going to have businesses and office space. Wow, that's a lot of different things in one building. That's very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> Francois was like, that was bad what he did with his uh, bike. Well, it was a scooter, but yeah. <laughs> same thing scooter bike same thing <laughs> it's got wheels and it should be at the side of the road <laughs> so yeah yeah he was right in the middle he like cut right in front of a car and the car was smart enough to hit the horn and wake wake him up so yeah i agree with you on that one Jeremy's like, I love Vancouver. I love Vancouver too. So when I got the opportunity to move back, I did. <laughs> so, I'm really fortunate. Not everyone can afford to live here. It is uh, considered one of the most expensive cities in the world. But if you can uh, live and work in Toronto, and you can uh, you can live and work in Vancouver if you can find the same type of work and stuff like that. I'm gonna just wait to cross the street. We're not worried about anybody else crossing the street, just me, because I'm carrying a camera, so I don't want to get in front of a car when I'm being distracted by the camera. You know, some other YouTubers who do walk tube will judge people, and I'm just I'm not into that. <laughs> Because I would cross the street if it was a red light and no one was on it. <laughs> Here's Nelson Park right here. Let's head on in. Just do a little walk through. I love Nelson Park. This is where uh, one of our parks where a lot of the locals will come to. As well as a lot of the people from the hospital will come to this area too. Ah, oh, the pigeons are hanging out today. There's the guy over there playing the guitar. Just hanging out, chilling out. Not busking, just playing. Parents <laughs> are saying, same as the one in New York that came down. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 57 stories tall. 
I thought the uh, two tires are a little taller than that, but uh, wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and double check that now. And that makes me interested, very interested. But yeah, huge either way, eh? And you keep going this way. But let's head on over this way and see more people just hanging out. There's some people across there having a, having a little picnic. <laughs> One thing I do like about Vancouver is that when you live in Vancouver, you're not having uh, <laughs> people constantly trying to compare your city to New York City. That happens a lot in Toronto. <laughs> and it just kind of makes sense. That's a big city in Canada, and they just want to make that comparison to the big city that's closest to them in the other place. So it's logical that they're doing that comparison, but still like New York, of course, is going to be drastically different from a city like Toronto, which is much, much smaller. And then Vancouver is even smaller than that. So <laughs> what can you say? What can you do? We do get comparisons over here to Seattle. And there is a comparison. There is simple, similar things, but uh, you know, Seattle's still a much larger city than Vancouver ever will be. Several million people in Seattle. Over here in Vancouver, 675,000 people. Yeah, those birds were very cool, Francois. There's the Canadian goose and the pigeons. A lot of people think pigeons are dumb. Pigeons are not dumb in any way, shape, or form. We had pigeons over on our balcony, hanging out, over at UBC. And you don't want the pigeons on your balcony because then they'll poop on your balcony. And you want to be able to use your balcony. And so, of course, I'm just looking at the pigeons. I'm like, oi! And of course, they take off. <laughs> also, the Montreal Tower. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> so, anyways. That went on for a few days because with pigeons you got to be persistent with them and eventually they'll go away. Uh, you don't have to hurt them or anything, you just got to say oi, usually wave your arm, usually they'll fly away. This pigeon went and got other pigeons and came back. And then it was looking in the other window at Asif to see who was in the house at that point in time or well, our apartment. <laughs> to see if someone would come to the balcony. <laughs> we were just fascinated. And then like the, the pigeon brought like four other pigeons to back it up. <laughs> so I just stayed persistent. I was expecting something like that, but like that's why you don't underestimate pigeons. They're very smart. Not as smart as crows, but smart. <laughs> Nonetheless, very sociable. <laughs> I'm across the street here. On Thurlow, and we've walked into the Davy Village now. You can see that from the banners that are hanging right here now with the rainbows. That's where it starts. And uh, <laughs> if you know what that symbol means, you know what type of neighborhood you're in. <laughs> I love those sunglasses. Those are, um, sunglasses on that guy are great. They're so huge. <laughs> so huge. So we're over here in the Davy Village now. Uh, in Davy Street in Thurlow. Let's head on this way. passing the best bike down there. Gonna swing out, get out of the way of the scooter. We got several people that live in this area who are uh, senior citizens who have scooters. Yeah, if you see them, just uh, move out of their way. 
and they'll uh, buzz on quickly through there for you. Yeah, this will be a busy little neighborhood over here tonight. It looks like Bonita's got their window open. And over here is Banana Leaf. I do enjoy Banana Leaf myself. Though I've over it myself. I have, I've had way too much lox and way too much, a uh, small amount of time. My body's just like, I taste good, but we've had too much of this. Change your diet. <laughs> Uh, lax is something you can find over here, especially since we have a large Malaysian diaspora as well. And they do a ripping, ripping different varieties of laksa. So good, so good. Laksa King in East Vancouver is actually an absolutely awesome place. Look at the balcony here. It's busy for this time of day. People coming out for the happy hour specials over here at the Fountainhead Club. Or Fountainhead Pub. <laughs> <laughs> Francois saying uh, pigeons. We got a lot of them in Abbotsford over at Mill Lake. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I always get a little bit of nostalgia for back uh, in Toronto whenever I see pigeon, pigeons hanging out in groups here in Vancouver because, like, there's some streets in Vancouver, in Toronto, like uh, Queen Street and John, or Queen, Queen and Grange. And there's different sections where the pigeons will just sit and perch. Uh, it just remembers me, uh, reminds me of my old hometown. Anyways, folks, I'm uh, going to call it a day today, so thanks for coming along the stream, and if you haven't liked it yet, well, just hit that like button and shoot it out to more people. Okay, I'm going to catch the bus from here, so thanks for coming along. <laughs> so thanks for coming along around uh, Vancouver with me today, and uh, I'll talk to you later, okay? <laughs> hey, <laughs> nice to see you too. <laughs> Cool, folks. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Hit that like button. <laughs> Out. Oh, I'm all thumbs here. Da 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 da